Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download thousands of uh, images chips from OS Engine uh, in just a few minutes. First, let's go to the website to download the notebook example, uh, gmap.org, and then on the left side, notebooks. Scroll down to find number 96, image chips. And then you can click the icon here to download this one to your computer. I'm going to download to the downloads directory and then save. So from there, you can open your Anaconda prompt or your uh, Windows terminal. So I'm just going to simply open my terminal and then uh, just Conda activate Geo. So that's the Conda environment that we created uh, in the previous videos. And then just type Jupyter, uh, Jupyter Lab to launch Jupyter in your browser. All right. And then we can start going through the source code. So on the left side here, just simply uh, click this icon and then find the notebook example. Double click. So from here, um, we can start going through. Uh, if you want, you can on the left side here, uh, you can see the table contents. So there are uh, a number of steps that we need want to go through, but uh, you can click this one if you want to navigate through uh, different sections. So first of all, uh, I like to send uh, uh, Noel Golick. Uh, so this uh, notebook was inspired by is medium post uh, if you want to check out you can click the link here to look at the original post and basically uh noel introduced the high volume endpoint of google's engine so basically in the past if you want to download data from google's engine uh you need to if you're using the traditional way uh you sometimes it take a while even for a small image but there's a high volume endpoint uh, so this one here a uh, high volume endpoint so uh, basically when you initialize your google's engine if you put this url basically it will allow you to quickly export images from google's engine much much faster but there's also a limitation um basically if you're using this one the maximum image size is limited to i think 32 um, megabytes 32 so uh basically <clears throat> if you have a large image it's going to be divided into a small pieces so but this will be something if it is uh, you are trying to export image chips for let's say um, um, image clarification and machine learning sometimes you want to get some small pieces very quickly then this is probably the way to go uh, it's just log faster uh, imagine if you're trying to export thousands of images from OS engine using the traditional uh, endpoint that one can take hours but this one only takes you a couple seconds uh, or a couple minutes all right so next uh, let's go through the section oh by the way so i would like to <clears throat> point out that the differences between um the example in law school and uh, the example from noah uh, in this example here it shows you how to export for example name imagery um, but this is just basically for one specific imagery uh, so in the, this noble example i already generalized so basically you can use it to export any images or image collection uh, at any location so all you just need to change a couple things but if you're using the uh, the original one uh, you learn, you might need to change uh, uh, many more lines in order to get it work okay so let's go back to the example and let's go through step by step first of all you need to install gmap and um, <clears throat> and retry if you haven't done this before uh, control slash uh, to and then you can execute uh, control enter to execute I already installed the packages so I don't need to do that again and next uh, we need to import uh, all these libraries so only the earth engine gmap those are the two the one that we use uh, uh, from gmap and also I think the other one retry and all these packages are the uh, python standard library so you don't need to install it comes with uh, python next step is to initialize uh, using the high volume endpoint and so basically allow us to make automatic requests so they can download images uh, very very quickly next uh, let's uh, create an interactive map so um, just like what we did before oh by the way i need to execute and then we can create uh, an interactive map so in this case um we are trying I, i'm trying to show you how to download for example um uh, images from uh Google Engine using the net imagery. So this is a one meter resolution. Uh, it's very, very high resolution. And um, so we're going to just um, find a uh, study area. You, 
the name imagery is only available for the US so you need to zoom in for example to a specific location uh, in this case I'm going to show you for example I want to download some images from uh, San Francisco and then so all you need to do uh, again you can navigate to any location on the US uh, it doesn't matter and I can just may simply draw a rectangle and so this one here uh, is an ROI that we want to download images from and you can if you know the coordinates you can easily use the coordinates to put in here uh, if you don't know you can also just simply use this one um, reason equal to map dot user ROI uh, the user ROI basically uh, convert the geojson to google Earth engine feature collection so in that uh, geometry so if you want i can just um, reason dot get info so in this way you can see the coordinates right and exactly if you want to um do it uh in a, a programmatic way you can just copy this one and then replace with this uh either one is fine okay so it's up to you how you want to define once we define the um reason then we also need to define the image right what kind of images are you trying to download so in this case we are trying to download the um, name imagery and we're going to filter so this is the ROI, uh, the one that we just created <clears throat> and then we're going to filter by year so name images uh, is available starting from 2003 all the way to right now 2021 so we in this case uh, for uh, San Francisco California we have imagery available from uh, in 2000 so uh, 2020 so we're going to download 2020 and then we're going to mosaic them because uh name imagery is like um, stored as, as one tie by one tie so one piece one piece and we're going to mosaic them and then we're going to clip to the region and after we do the clipping we also want to select uh near infrared red and green so basically uh, we want to have a seamless uh, imagery covering the uh, the region uh, with the color infrared composition so basically this is what we want and this is the image and so we need just need to execute <coughs> uh, later i'm going to show you how you can download sentinel 2 uh, basically this is generalized so all you need to do just to change the ROI and you can change the image uh, pretty much many of these things beneath uh, can stay the same uh, you don't need to make any changes but uh, again you can set the parameters so this one is also very important uh, shows you how, how what kind of things you want to export right so the parameters in here count uh, this one controls how many images you want to export so in this case i put uh, 100 uh, you can put 1000 10000 uh, it doesn't matter uh, the buffer uh, this is the pixel size so how many are the uh, the distance in meter so uh, in this case i'm going to buffer 127 meters uh, from the center so basically uh, we want because we are going to generate some random points so each point i'm going to create a buffer so 127 meters and then uh you can also uh, because we're going to do the stratify sampling uh you can do the scale this one doesn't really matter uh if you put the large one it uses a little faster and the seed this one is basically the random state um because if you want to reproduce uh, in other computer you want to get the same images and then you can set this to the same number or you can set it to zero one or whatever and the dimension controls how big is the image how many pixels so 256 by 256 means that uh, for each image being exported it has 256 rows 256 columns so if you can tweak the large one you can put a small one you can 32 by 32 64 by 64 whatever this require by your machine learning algorithm you can do it in here and the next one is the format so png um or jpeg or you can export the geo i'm going to show you some examples later if you just w uh, want to put into machine learning you probably don't need the coordinate system then the easiest way is just maybe png or jpeg but if you want the images to come with to be geo reference uh, then you need to use the geo because uh, png does not has any coordinate system all right and the next one prefix tile means uh what you want to add to the file name so you can add the tile if you don't want that you can just remove that next one uh processes uh, this means basically how many uh concurrent 
processes you want to have uh, you can have 25 it depends on how many the cpu so how many uh processes you have and it, the processes means like concurrent how many you want to run at the same time so uh 25 and then the last one here out uh directory so where you want to save the images right so if you put a dot it means the current directory so it's going to be saved here on the, the copy meter but if you want to download the images to a specific directory uh, you can change this one here all right so those are the key uh, parameters you need to customize uh, you can customize the region customize the image and also customize uh, how many images we want to export from uh, google Sendy. that's it and then all other stuff here uh, pretty much you don't need to make any changes so first uh, let's create a map and just to show you okay i need to uh, export uh, execute this one and then let's add the data to the map so basically showing you uh, how we uh, how we can um, so this is the ROI that we created right uh, we draw a uh, rectangle and we also mosaic the images as one seam disk uh, it doesn't show up in here but uh, when you zoom in it's going to load up because keep in mind name image is stored in um, by a tile so one small piece by one small piece so when it's all putting all together you see it's all coming up um, but sometimes it might take a couple seconds to load up everything but anyway it doesn't really matter it's going to be one seamless imagery right just like it's showing up here and then we're going to generate some random samples to download the image chips so that we can use for uh, machine learning all right so uh, next step uh, this is the two key components that we need to have in order to download the images so the first one here is to to join a list of items um, so this one here uh, the function is get request uh, essentially uh, what we are trying to do here is to um, go back to this here uh, counts 100 right so we want to download 100 uh, images and so in order to do that uh, we need to generate one generate 100 points and then so use the points then we can use to and uh, uh, create the, the image to uh, download the image chips so this one is uh, very important uh, so first we need to add a new band to the image uh, so basically we create a image constant value uh, one and so because when you're doing stratify sampling uh, it depends on the pixel value so if, if you have a, a classified imagery it's going to generate uh, the same number of points for each class uh, so in this case we don't care but we still need to have an image uh, representing the class so it's all one that means we're just going to uh, extract 100 points for example this is the parameter and the count coming from the dictionary we define above right and then uh, the reason is where uh, is this one here that where we want to uh, uh, generate the points and the scale is basically how you want to uh, the scale perimeter and also the seat uh, geometry so this one here very important uh, we'll make sure that you return the geometry otherwise um, you uh, you don't get the location okay and the next step this one is optional so you can save the points uh, because if you want to see where are those points then you can assign this one to the data attribute of the map uh, well, I'm going to show you later how you can actually retrieve this one and lastly we're going to get the um, um, the coordinates so basically once you have the points you can aggregate you can get the coordinates and then so we can use the coordinates to uh, uh, generate the image chips all right so just execute this one this is just a function it doesn't uh, execute yet and the next step this one is the key is to based on this image uh, points right assume that we get 100 points then we're going to get one image for each point right and this is so called the get results um and if you want more detailed description uh, this is actually showing how like because you are sending automatic requests and sometimes google things are going to slow you uh, deny your request so you need to keep retrying uh, if it fails i'm going to try 10 times and you want to wait for example one second um and then you can retry it again but this one essentially is showing you if you if i give you a point uh, i also give the index right so for example one of the points the index starting from zero all the way to 99 and the reason we want the index is because we want to name the file because uh, earlier when we set the <coughs> um, parameters here uh, we want to have the tie for example tie 
0001 or type 1000 something like that so um, we need the index to name the file and this goes through the source code here right the index and the point and so once you have the point you can grab the coordinates and then you can join the deck one uh, construct a geometry point and use the point we're going to do the bar for so the bar for distance uh, comes from the one that we define above and then we get the mount, uh, bounding box right basically uh, make it simplify and then so this is basically a rectangle the reason now is a rectangle so it's a rectangle around its point right so you have a point you have a rectangle and then we can decide uh, say here um, if it is if you want to export uh, png or jpeg uh, we are going to use this function get thumbnail url and the reason is uh, around each point uh, the dimension or also the format but if you are exporting other format for example GeoTIFF or others it's going to use the get download url so these two are different get download url basically you are getting the original data if you get thumbnail it basically just uh, the um, jpeg or images that without any original pixel values it's just um, already been converted into rgb and here uh, uh the, if the format is GeoTIFF, we're going to have the file extension TIFF. Otherwise, it'll be PNG or JPEG, right? Uh, and so basically here, this one give you the information how you want to decide the file extension. And after that, uh, this one basically just download the imagery because yeah, you get the URL. With the URL, you can download the data using the request of get. And if something goes wrong, it's going to raise an error here, raise for status and lastly uh, where you want to save the data right so once you have downloaded the data uh, i want to export this one to the output directory and this is where you decide the file name right so the base name equals to um, the index and then g field right and so this is depends on um, how many images for example 1000 images uh, you're going to have three digits uh, four digits uh, something like that in here and lastly this is the file name right so the output file pass the prefix basically uh tile and then for example 0001 dot png uh dot tiff or something like that and this step here shows you how to store the the file to your computer and that's it and then they say it's done so these are the two key steps right so first you need to join uh how many items basically how many um points or how many rectangle or how many circle whatever right it basically is a list of items and then you have this function gig result to basically uh, the actions uh you want to take for each item for each point for each rectangle uh so in this case it's simply just using the rectangle to download each image and then save the computer and that's it right once we have these two functions and this is the one uh actually execute uh, the source code right um you don't have to under uh, worry too much uh, you can just basically get request uh in this case we are generating 100 points and then uh, we're going to use the multi-processing and this is defines how many processes you want to have uh, uh at the same time and then use the star map right enumerate because enumerate it returns a dictionary the index and also the item and this one being passed to uh, this function to get the result right so because it is the input parameters and then just uh, get started so just execute uh, i'm going to show you here and the <coughs> uh, uh, percentage sign here time means um that means how long it's going to take for this sale to execute right so as you can see here done 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 on the left side here you should see dog png right 100 points um uh, it's going to get you 100 images as you can see at the beginning it's going to uh, take some time to actually get connected and then you will see sometimes it fails too many requests and it's going to retry after one second and eventually right so you get all the images see how long it takes 24 seconds so we download 100 images in 24 seconds so on the left side here <coughs> uh, once you download images right uh, you can open your directory and you can take a look so right so 100 small uh image tips of course you can show um because earlier we set the dimension 256 right so we can see the dimensions here 256 256 so this is how you can decide how many images you want to download and it's really quick right 100 images 
if you put one thousand probably it's take a couple minutes uh really really quick so this shows you how to um download the images uh in uh, png format but if you need the images to be um to have coordinate system a geo reference then you need to download as geotiff i'm going to show you here if i open um the images in um qgs i'm going to show you how we can load the data so probably for this one you won't be able to see um because it's not geo reference so you, uh it, it doesn't line up so if you add the, um, the image to the map you probably won't see the location right so you see here is in the middle of ocean uh, definitely is incorrect so so the next step here i'm going to show you how you can <clears throat> download the image in geotiff so then later you can load the data uh, on the map all right so first let me uh remove the data layer <clears throat> need to where is it remove layer and then i'm going to delete all the images because uh, otherwise it might get confused so i'm going to select all of them and then um delete all of them okay so next let's go back to here so all we need to do <coughs> is to simply change this one here all right just the format and everything else will remain the same so simply select and then come back to here copy that's it and all we need to do simply run all sale and then you can oh uh because we didn't draw anything so i'm just going to simply uh did this one and then run all sales and so let's wait for the magic uh to happen so you can scroll down all the way uh here it's pretty much that's pretty much the same right you're going to download 100 images uh it's going to take <coughs> less than one minute uh actually we already have the images in here so you can just double click select open anyone so this one right now uh, is the GOT format so i can just open again uh qgs right and then if you want you can drag any images to qgs right click zoom to layer oh this one is in the ocean so probably it's not a good one and let's find the other one for example all right <clears throat> so this one again drag to this one and then zoom to the layer all right so can you see it? Right, so this is the one overlay <coughs> exactly on the images. So if you want to see, for example, Google Satellite, and then you can drag this one. Right, pretty nice. Right, so this is the uh, original image. Right, that has the geo reference information, so they can overlay on top of the layer. Right, and lastly, as I saw you earlier, when we generate the random points we, we assign to the um, map data attribute so later uh, in here you can show actually uh, where are those points so this is the 100 points that we generated and then you can see the location again if you want to export the, uh, the, the the point you can do that as well so just e uh, underscore export vector and then you should be able to export uh, this one so this is a simple example showing you how to export uh, images, chips, uh, image chips from Earth engine very quickly. And uh, I show you how to do that for NAP imaging, one meter resolution. But uh, if you want to change to other images, uh, this is where you can do that. So I'm going to uncommon this one just to show you. So this one here, I'm going to export uh, Sentinel 2 images and pretty much the same thing here i'm going to export uh um for the region in San Francisco for 2001 and i'm going to get create a median composite but you can also do the visualize otherwise it's going to be just uh black and uh very dark so you cannot really see but if you just want uh, to simply visualize you can for example set the minimum maximum uh, it's going to uh, have a better image contrast so next uh, let me do it again here uh, let me export uh, let me remove the uh, the data layers and then i can again remove all the data layers Oop. and just did it once we did it, uh, then we can uh, come out this one. So this time we're going to download Sentinel 2 images. And again, just one all sales. You don't need to change anything else. Um, you're welcome to try it out for other images, uh, lens set uh, or uh, DM, whatever images you want to download. Uh, it doesn't really matter. 
uh, it might take some time uh, to run the algorithm but once it is finished uh, you're going to get the images very very quickly and uh, this is the fastest way if you want to download small pieces of uh, satellite imaging right on the left side here now you see uh, 100 images and you can click this one here uh, this is because it's a uh, 10 meter resolution so you don't really get a good picture but you can change the um distance so for example earlier we said 127 so roughly um this uh, because 10 meter uh, the pixel size is basically on the left side the center point you only get 10 pixels so if you want to get a uh, better uh, images you basically for the uh, lower resolution uh, you want to change this one so in this case i can make do it for example 1000 uh, basically you get 1000 meters uh, 1000 meter basically on the left side uh, you get 100 points right because it's 10 meter resolution at uh, 100 pixels so on the left 100 pixel on the right 100 pixel roughly you get 400 pixels so let me quickly do this one again just to show you how you can make it work very quickly let me delete right and then since we change to 1000 this time you should get a much uh, better uh, image pixels and take a look all right so we have this and take a look all right so now you see a much clearer picture because we cover a much larger area uh, you might see some black because uh ooh. all right so this one is uh nice give you a nice view all right so uh that's all for this video <clears throat> i hope you find it uh, useful and you're welcome to try out for other data set uh, so if you want to try it out and these are all the points Okay, thank you for uh, watching. Take care. Bye-bye.